A long time ago, on a cold winter night, after a long summer day, I went outside for my usual walk with my gray new balance, the ones with the reflective capital N on them. As I was strolling along the river, like I usually do, I've noticed suddenly two shadows merge behind the trees. I shouted, hello there. I shouted because I listened to music, but they were actually two meters away from me. They come out behind the trees and to my surprise, they weren't shadows at all. They were people shadows. I mean, they're people, just people. I asked, well, state your business. And one of them replied, I am a mathematician. And before the other one could say anything, I said, no, no, I mean, what do you want? What are you looking for? So they replied, we're looking for Yuri Takman. Pronouncing my name correctly, they did not. So I told them, I don't know uh, such a thing, but perhaps I can help you. So they said, uh, yes, we want to draw a curve. <laughs> and I started laughing. What do you mean draw a curve? Nobody can draw a curve. Can only make straight lines and that's all we know that's all that we can do so the other one took a sheet of paper it was a drawing of some sort plans of a particular mechanism this mechanism can draw curves that's what they said and i was like okay cool what do you what what do you want well we are looking for someone that can make these mechanisms can you do it and i continued laughing of course I can make such a simple mechanism. Accurately, they continued. I stopped laughing. As we sat there for three minutes in silence, I told them, have you heard of ClickSpring? So here we are a few weeks later and I'm reconstructing two mechanisms for the Museum of Brest in France. In this video, we're going to do the first one, which is called the track three, I think. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. However, these instruments were designed by Giovanni Polleni in the 17th century, and they were meant to simplify the way we can draw mathematical curves. The way that these devices achieve that is by pushing or pulling, in this case, a brass wheel that naturally wants to go in this delicious curved line. I will try to link all the details and further information in the description. Bear in mind that this project and research is not yet finalized, so all the publication and what I can share might come a little bit later. Yeah. 
close. Okay, that looks pretty good. <laughs> that looks horrible, but it looks pretty good. Good. The next piece that we are going to make is this slide rail sort of thing that can pivot. It is made out of three thin, thin plates of brass, and you'll see in a moment why it is constructed in this weird fashion. As this mechanism was created before the existence of milling machines, I think that explains why this component is made out of three separate sheets of brass, which are sandwiched together to create this kind of guide rail sort of thing. The final piece and perhaps the most complicated part in this mechanism is the wheel housing. This is made out of two components. One is kind of a shell that rides along the rail, and the other one that is kind of free flowing is the one that holds the actual wheel in place. Oh my god. Okay, it's a bit ugly, but I think it's uh, not too bad. Yeah. 
any good. Look, look, look. Go. Put the little wheel box, schlick. And is it riding? Yes, it's riding. Oh, beautiful! Okay, so. Oh my god. Let's do it like that. Okay, let's do this again. So. We press here and we move the thing. Uh huh. And where is the the little dots line? So it's this. And then, then it continues, continues, and so on. Um, that's the curve. That's the mechanism, that's what it does. It makes a line, a curved line, which has some significance in the mathematical universe, which is the actual universe. Anyway, um, I hope the museum and the mathematician will like it and uh, it will be to their desired standards. Uh, I'm not a professional reconstructor, but it's not perfect, but it's me. And it's me and it's going to be in the museum me and I'm, I'm blabbering, sorry. I will see you in the next video, which is going to be another one like this, but a little bit more complicated, but probably does the same thing. <laughs> we'll see. Um, not the same thing, like similar, like a line. <laughs> I mean, um, so yeah, I will see you there. And I hope you like this. I hope you like the video. And I will uh, see, you, see you there. So. Have a good one and have a good uh, day and I will see you there. Oh my god, I need to I need to <laughs> I need to take a break.